Sex offenders could be left unsupervised. State parks would be closed and thousands of people would be laid off. Governor Inslee says that's what will happen if lawmakers do not reach a budget deal soon. New at 5.30, 5 o'clock, South Bureau Chief Drew Mickelson has a look at how the shutdown could affect you. Drew. Well, Dennis, 10 days. That's how long lawmakers here have to reach a budget deal before the governor says by law he'll have to shut down two-thirds of the state's agencies. Lawmakers here tell us they're optimistic they can reach a deal, but until it's a done deal, the governor's office wants everyone to know what might be coming. This is a GPS locator that we use for high-risk, transient sex offenders. The state tracks the movement of more than 100 homeless, dangerous sex offenders across the state, but not without a state budget. Let's say the sex offender does have a GPS, it cuts it off, there's no one there to respond, uh, issue a warrant. No inmates would be released, but 3,000 of the Department of Corrections' 8,000 employees would be laid off. Staffing would be cut within the facilities, and instead of supervising 16,000 released offenders, the DOC would only keep tabs on about 1,000. It would have a significant impact on public safety. This is not what we want to do. This is something that is legally required for us to do. Governor Inslee's chief of staff this morning said without a budget deal by July 1st, thousands of state employees will be laid off, and two-thirds of the state's services will be cut off. Moments after that announcement, Republicans and Democrats met behind closed doors. We're told progress is being made, and leaders say a deal could be reached as soon as Sunday. Come on, Bentley. But without a budget, you may have to find a new place to camp for the 4th of July. The gates would shut at all state parks. And Jabrika's pounced on The horses at Emerald Downs would be out of work. You can't bet on the ponies without the state's horse racing commission. Lottery is a really big part of my life. And speaking of gambling, no lottery tickets would be sold under a state shutdown. While that might keep money in some players' pockets, the owner of this 7 Eleven makes six cents on every dollar spent on lottery tickets. You don't want to see it go away. No, not at all. If there's no deal here by Monday, the governor's office says layoff notices will have to be put in the mail to thousands of state employees, easily more than 20,000 state employees. Coming up at 6.30, find out why those employees may have a hard time finding a new job if they're laid off. Live at the Capitol Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.